Are you feeling confused using Figma UI tree? Can't find some features easily and still prefer the older UI too? Figma UI tree has been out for a while, but many designers are hesitant to switch. In today's video, I'll compare UI2 with UI3, showing both side by side. I'll highlight what's changed, where features are now located, and introduce you to the new additions. On the left, we have the older version, Figma UI 2, opened in browser. And on the right, you'll see Figma UI 3, which I've opened in the desktop app. The first thing you'll notice is the toolbar. In UI 3, the toolbar has been completely revamped. It's no longer at the top. Instead, some tools move to the navigation panel. Others shifted to the properties panel. A few relocated to the bottom, and there are also some new tools. The main menu remains in the top left corner, but in UI3, it's a part of navigation panel, not the toolbar. Another cool addition is the minimize UI button. This lets you collapse both the navigation and properties panel for more canvas space. Just click it in the navigation panel to toggle. In UI3, the toolbar has moved to the bottom of the editor, giving you more canvas space to focus on designing. Comparing the move tools in both versions, UI2 only had move and scale, while UI3 includes the hand tool within the move tools menu. Another major change are in UI2, there was resources for components, plugins, and widgets. But in UI3, that's replaced by Actions, which adds AI-powered features alongside assets, plugin, and widgets. And now, the Dev Mode button is directly in the toolbar for easy access. File management is more intuitive in UI3. In UI2, the file name and the project type were at the top center. While in UI3, they are in navigation panel just below the main menu. Features like the multiplayer tools, share button, and prototype view have moved to the properties panel in UI3. The zoom or view options are now next to the design and prototype tab in the properties panel. If you are looking for the libraries button, you'll find it under the Asset tab in Navigation Panel. In UI2, the Navigation Panel includes Search, Layers, Assets, and Pages. In UI3, the Layers tab has moved under the New File tab, which combine Pages and Layers. The Asset tab remains mostly the same. Now let's bring the same design from the Figma community in both versions and see what changes. Selecting a frame in both versions show how much better UI3 organized the properties. UI3 introduced property labels, which make it clear what each property does. To enable this, go to the drop-down next to the zoom percentage in the properties panel and select property labels. When enabled, Labels like Alignment, Position, and Transform appear above their respective sections, making navigation easier. Actions like Create Components or Use as Mask are now in the header row of the Properties panel. Groups like Alignment, Position, and transform are combined into a single position group, including constraints. The new layout section contains properties for widths and heights. And when you enable auto layout, it changes dynamically. The old layer section in UI2 is now appearance in UI3, with added features like corner radius, alongside opacity and blend modes. The text section in UI2 has been renamed typography in UI3. 
you can now resize a text layer on their layout. And the paragraph spacing has moved to type settings. When selecting a component, in UI tree, its properties are grouped right under the frame name in properties panel. To add a variant in UI2, click on add variant here, but in UI tree, you now click add a variant next to the component name. If you are not ready to stick with UI3, you can toggle back to UI2 to ease the transition. Just open the help menu inside a design file and click go back to previous UI. The interface will quickly change to UI2. That's it for today's comparison of Figma UI2 and UI3. I hope it helped you navigate the changes. If you found this helpful, Give it a like, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy designing!